on health this morning we have dr dibia edward nze who is the chief dental officer at desert international hospital he is also content creator and social media handler for nigerian dental association handle and of course he joins us via skype to talk about managing dental pain at home of course uh, that's even more pertinent during this lockdown knowing how to handle dental pain yourself good morning dr dibia how are you doing good morning all right, so today we're talking about, of course, uh, managing dental pain while at home. Now, uh, it, it comes up, uh, people have, uh, we know the, basic, the basics that a lot of people are used to, salt and water, hot water and salt. Like, you feel like that solves everything that has to do with the tooth and all of that. But from your own perspective, what are the tips that you can give us about managing dental pain while at home? Okay, so first thing um, people need to know is that the first and most effective way of treatment is always prevention. Mm. So if you can prevent it, you will not need to treat it. Um, the, the tooth is a sensitive um, tissue, and one of the ways the tooth responds to any form of external stimulus is through pain. There are different types of pain, different types of causes of pain as well. Mm. Um, the most common ones that we have, you have pains from tooth decay, you have pains from pains like periporonitis, and then you have pains from pains like sensitivity. And then while people think that uh, using hot water and salt, well, we need to correct them. It's not hot water. The water is not supposed to be hot. It's supposed okay. to be warm. Mm. It does It does a lot. So I'm going to feel that the hotter the water, the more effective the, the something is. So. Oh, no, no, mm. it's, it's absolutely wrong. Because okay. the hotter the water, you, you're just going to end up burning up all your oral mucosa. Okay. And then that's, that causes a worse problem than you were trying to solve initially. Okay, so do you also recommend salt with the warm water? Yes, yeah, so there is a particular measurement that we give um, for the warm water and salt. You okay. take a glass cup of warm water, Mm. and you take one tablespoon of salt. Now, do not keep the tablespoon full. Okay. Level it out and okay. put in the warm water. Okay. And then mix thoroughly. Because when you put the salt in the water, the salt tends to just dissolve and go down into the water. But you need to mix it so okay. that you have an even concentration. And, even, definitely. and that's when you use it as a mouth rinse. Hmm. How long Don't do swallow. Very, Don't very swallow, important. yeah. How long Please should you keep it in your swallow. mouth? Is this something that you keep in your mouth for a long time? How long should you gargle? Do you gargle on it? What exactly do you do? Well, you can gargle for about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, you spit it out. Okay. Um, the idea is that if the water is warm, after 10 seconds, um, it should have lost that warmness. Okay. And then you can now spit it out and put more. Okay. Now, uh, what other, what other uh, home remedies can, do, 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 do we have to, you know, to treat dental pain? Are there, on, are there any other ones? Yes. Like I said before, the first um, line of treatment is prevention. Definitely. So okay. if we take, for example, um, the pain that comes with sensitivity, what's the major cause of sensitivity in our environment? It's the texture of the toothbrush that we use. A lot of us still use hard toothbrushes. Hmm. So if you're still using a hard toothbrush and you're trying to treat sensitivity, it's like you're using a basket to fetch water. Mm. You will not go anywhere. So wow. first you need to drop that hard toothbrush. So who are the nobody hard toothbrushes made for? A hard toothbrush. Who are they? If nobody should be using it, why are they made? Who are they made for? Those hard toothbrushes, they are made to clean your sneakers, your jeans, <laughs> your couch, your, wow. your chairs, wow. not for your teeth. They okay. end up doing more damage than good in okay. your mouth. How about those that use chewing so, stick? You said? How about those that use chewing stick? Yes, yeah, so, so chewing stick is a very, very good um, alternative. However, you should also want to use your chewing stick with a toothpaste. Oh. Mm. Okay. So okay. it's not like we are, we are totally abolishing um, the natural um, remedies that we had growing up. Okay. 
you should uh, you can use your your chewing stick but make sure you also use a fluoride containing toothpaste with them all right okay so yeah you were still going on so prevention of course is the major thing and then having a soft uh not so hard toothbrush okay is there any other one yes um the the frequency of your toothbrushing you should at least target twice every day at least the, at least it's wow it's an at least so that means i can do like Basically, five times a day you can brush five times you can brush six times every day Whoa. as it suits you however the minimum is twice every day so you do it in the morning and then last thing at night we're not very particular about when you brush in the morning you can brush anytime in the morning but we're particular about the one you do at night hmm. you need to brush last thing at night it has to be the last thing you do hmm. um, there is no point of you going to bed after brushing and then putting chocomilo in your mouth <laughs> when you're on the bed it's as good as <laughs> doing nothing you see, but you know, so there are some people that they, they cannot sleep until something is inside their mouth. There's no more, you know, like they send them from their village. There must be something in the mouth if not, they're not sleeping. <laughs> That's what they say. Yes, and then it's, <laughs> it's really, really common this um, COVID period. Okay. We have so many people who do not know when their bedtime is any longer. Mm. So you are on the, you're, you're, watching a movie or watching series until you just fall asleep. You just fall asleep. And most of the time, you're snacking on something even while you're on the bed. So it's so harmful. It, it has to be the last thing you It has do to be the last night. thing. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Dibia. I wish we had more time, but then we could continue this the next time. Uh, thank you for your tips. And I, I definitely know that people have learned from this. Thank you.